it's Jeremy here. Uh, bear with me. I'm driving down 435 with my 10-month-old in the back. Uh, this was perhaps the only time that I was going to have an opportunity to try and knock this out. So whatever happens, happens. Uh, hopefully we'll end up going smooth. Um, last night was the debut match at Livestrong Sporting Park for Sporting KC. Uh, let's go ahead and get the ugly out of the way first. Um, there was the offsides call. Uh, taking away the goal that would have gone to uh, midfielder Graham Zussi. I uh, have not had an opportunity to take a look on the review as much as I would like to. It still seems like it might be a questionable call. I will go and give the official the benefit of the doubt on that one. Uh, mainly because that was far, far, far overshadowed by the blatant no call uh, more towards the end of the second half of the match that should have resulted in a red card against the, the Chicago Fire and a penalty kick for Sporting. Who knows what would have happened. Uh, at this point, it's entirely too late. There's no way to go back and change the results of what happened. Uh, it is what it is. 0-0 zero, zero tie to break in the new park, uh, which for the park itself, I had an opportunity to go out and tour it uh, about the end of April. And it looked phenomenal at that point, but yet there were still so many things waiting to be taken care of and needing to be finished at that point. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks in person now that everything is all said and done. Uh, I was not able, not able to make it out to the match last night. Uh, recently upgraded myself from boyfriend to fiance and decided it would probably be best to keep myself out of the doghouse by not going to an event without her because her work schedule would not coordinate and allow that to happen. So. The stadium looked great on TV. Uh, like I said, looking forward to going to check it out in person and actually compare how things were then versus how they are now. Um, I guess the other negative to address from last night was going back to the non-call, the non-penalty kick. I can understand being outraged, as was I. I can understand yelling at the officials, as I probably would have been through the TV if I wasn't worried about waking my daughter up. Please, do, do not throw things onto the pitch. It's ugly, it's disrespectful. This was a match that was on national TV for the entire country to see, and anybody else that was tuning in beyond that. And we let them see exactly how disrespectful a handful of individuals can be. Uh, kudos to the KC Cauldron for stepping up and calling those individuals out. Uh, they've made it blatantly known that if you're wanting to hang with them in the member section, you're more than welcome to do so, but carry yourself with respect, carry yourself with the class that they do, and if they happen to spot anybody doing anything like that in the future, they will point people out to security and have them escorted out of the uh, stadium, which I fully commend and uh, support them on that decision. They did a phenomenal job last night representing the team, uh, and ESPN2 gave them quite the fair amount of face time. So kudos to them. They bust their tails. Uh, I can't say enough good things as far as the, the, the banners that they work on. Um, you know, just they go all out. Uh, packed house last night with, I believe, 19,925 was the uh, attendance. Sold out house with standing room only. That is a phenomenal way to start the uh, start the history of the stadium out. So, you know, go out with a bang. The only way that it could have been better was to have had a uh, more positive result on the scoreline. Uh, like I said, I was not able to make it out. I ended up watching on TV uh, with the volume muted, listening to the call from Sports Radio 810. Uh, major shout out to uh, Callum Williams and Sports Radio 810's Jake Gutierrez. Both did a phenomenal job on the call. I know Jake was talking on uh, the Border Patrol yesterday morning about him being a little bit nervous. Uh, rest assured, Jake, you did perfectly fine. There was nothing to be nervous about. You both sounded excellent. Uh, another shout out to give is to the Kansas Sampler, specifically the Oak Park Mall location, 97th and Quivira. They have done an excellent job of keeping Sporting KC merchandise well stocked, including the shirt that I am wearing at the moment. Uh, and every single time I go back there, they seem to have more and more. Uh, so major kudos to them for keeping up on top of everything. Uh, also, during the match last night, got an opportunity to check out the brand new Sporting Explore app, which went live for both the uh, Apple Store and Android markets early yesterday afternoon. Uh, what they have on there thus far, 
uh, I, as an Android user, uh, is quite good. Got an opportunity to play along with live trivia as the match was going on last night, not necessarily pertaining to the match itself. Although they do have another feature that leads up towards the beginning of each match that allows you to pick, you know, as was some of the examples for last night's, uh, determining first for the stadium, who would score first, uh, which team would end up getting the first red card, who would end up getting the first corner kick. Uh, it allows you to be interactive, and I don't know completely yet what they plan on doing as far as rewards for scoring point totals. Um, I'm sure all that will end up coming about in the future, but I like what they've got going so far, and I had a lot of fun testing out the app. Um, with all that being said, all we can do now is look ahead, uh, try not to be bitter, <coughs> excuse me, try not to be bitter over the result from last night. Uh, all things considered, I will take getting one point whenever you take into account the uh, red card against us uh, for Jimmy Nielsen, who I know he's got to feel absolutely terrible as soon as his hands hit the ball outside of his uh, outside of the box, and he realized that he immediately grimaced. He dropped to his knees. Uh, I feel bad for the guy. Um, simple mistake. He got caught up in the heat of the moment. The ball didn't carry quite as quick as he was thinking that it would, uh, and things happen. Uh, to play as long as uh, Sporting did, a man down and to have still ended up with a 0-0 draw, uh, kudos to the team. Um, would we like to see them do more offensively? Of course we would. Um, it's been since April 23rd, I believe, was the last match at which Sporting has put a point on the board. That being said, the, uh, the defense is looking really good. Uh, three straight shutouts now, can't complain about that. However, we got a tall task ahead coming up on Sunday as the team travels to uh, go up against FC Dallas, who are no slouch by any means. I believe they are in second place in their conference right now and have a nine-game streak of either winning or tying. They have not been beaten in nine games. So it's not going to be easy for sporting by any means. Uh, hopefully they can come out, fight hard, strike early, strike often, and we'll see what ends up happening. Um, for those of you who want to keep up with me on things, and as well as keeping up with uh, the way that I was keeping tabs on things for sporting throughout the day yesterday, uh, find me on Twitter at Vivid13. Uh, if you want to check out my list for Sporting KC, it will be under my account on the list titled Sporting KC. Um, plenty of current players, a uh, few former players that have uh, gone on to other teams now. Some excellent bloggers, the account for the KC Cauldron, uh, ownership and management for the team, Plenty of good input, plenty of good insights, lots of pictures were being shared last night, so for those like myself who were not able to be out there at Sporting Livestrong Park, or Livestrong Sporting Park, I should say, pardon me for that, uh, it allowed us to feel like we were there in an aspect and got to see more than what ESPN2 was simply showing us with their cameras. So with that being said, uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Uh, perhaps I will end up doing some more of these in the future, as out of the professional teams for Kansas City. Nothing against the Royals, nothing against the Chiefs. Sporting Kansas City is my passion. This is the team that I have taken on uh, and call my own. Uh, being a kid from St. Louis, it's nice to have something out here that I feel such a love and such a passion for and I want to be a part of and I want to support them in any and every way that I can. So, thank you for tuning in. Good night. God bless. Cheers. Bye-bye.